this way to have like, some more uh, trees because uh, yeah, in case I ever need wood, I don't have to travel very far and I can just farm it right here. But I still need this part right here for the birch trees, so we're gonna continue that today and we're gonna be digging the rest of this out and it shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Man, I hate Enderman so much. Oh, I gotta put away some of this dirt. I completely forgot about it. But yeah, it shouldn't take too long. And um, yeah, after that, we'll see what we do. Let us put away some of this dirt. I'm glad I'm starting to get more grass blocks too. I like having these in stock because it just makes things a lot easier. Grass blocks are so good. Up. I think that was me because I need to put that somewhere else. Let's go up here. Uh, there we go. Wheat seeds. And yeah. Let us continue with our digging. Thank you guys for the love on the last video. It, um,. Actually, really means a lot. Been uh, and you know, back on the grind again, trying to do daily uploads. So, if you're new to my channel, just know I upload every single day. Well, pretty much every single day. There's maybe a few times here and there I'll take a day off, but it's pretty daily. Uh, I was sick for a little while. sugarcane right here. I don't need it anymore. And 
this too. There's a lot of things I gotta take down. Alright, there we go. Now we can sleep.
I don't remember exactly the score, but we were winning by a field goal or two points, I think. I don't remember. And um, we had the ball with like I think a couple minutes left or like a minute something left. I forget. And it was fourth down. So Staley, like a dummy, ended up putting the ball away deep down into their territory. He decides to go for it on fourth and like, I think like five or something. I don't know what this, the number was. Or two. It might have been like a low yard thing, but he decides to go for it while we're in our territory. So if we didn't convert that play, the Browns would have caught the ball in field goal range or close to field goal range. And we would have lost the game. So what happens is we don't convert it and the Browns get it. We are just extremely lucky that the Browns missed that field goal because we would have lost. But the fact that 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 our head coach made that play call, like just it just it it why why would he do that? It literally I I just don't understand. I don't get it. What, I don't know what was going through his head. It was just, that game is what really pushed me to be like, dude, Staley, why like. I always never liked the way he always goes on third on fourth down. But I really didn't like that play at all. And then, for the last game of the season, for some reason, we played our starters for way too long. Like, when we didn't need to, because we already had a playoff spot, and we couldn't really go up and, and like, to see numbers or anything. So, it, it didn't make sense for us to play our starters. And one of our starters, like our, our really good wide receiver, his name is Mike Williams, got injured and couldn't play on Saturday. Now, I'm not saying that's why we lost, because to be honest, we shouldn't have lost anyway when we were up 27-0. But the fact that we played our starters that long in a game that did not matter, and we lost a really good our, one of our main wide receivers, it just... I, I, I want Staley, like, literally fired. I, I usually hate it when, like, there's fans that be, like, fired as head coach and stuff because I'm like, it's not really their fault sometimes. Like, they're just overreacting. But no, like, Brandon Staley, I really just don't like it, the way he coaches. I just dislike it so, so much. It, it's awful. It's just not good. I've never seen a play that he calls that I've actually liked. I don't like the way they play our running back either. His name's Austin Eckler. Our Austin Eckler is not a running a running back, which sounds weird because he's a running back, but no, he, Austin Eckler cannot run. There's some times where he gets free and he does make a play, but Austin Eckler is more of like a like a passing right or a passing running back. He's someone you use for like screens or short slants or something like that because. And, like, the fact that we try and use him as an actual running back, like, that we get no yardage from him is just, I just don't like that at all. Just, I feel like we need someone who actually can run, like, run the ball. No offense to Eckley, he's a really good player, but he just can't run. He really can't. Our, we, our running is awful. Our rushing yards this season were awful, too. Eckler's really good. Like, really, he's really good, but, like only for passes. If you guys know, uh, someone named, like, Darren Sproles from a really long time ago. He's like, a, he should be like, played like Darren Sproles. Darren Sproles was played like a, like, he didn't really run. He was just there for, like, short, like, screen passes and slants and stuff, and they, that was, he was played perfectly like that. That's how I think they should play Eckler, but, I mean, it's whatever. It's fine. Honestly, next year, I, if we don't get rid of Staley, I'm going to be really mad. Like, I'm actually going to be pissed. But next year, if we keep Staley and we still, like, lose, they better get rid of him and get someone else, please. Because I don't know if I can go another two years of this. Like, the team we have right now is actually really, really good. I don't know what's happening, but, like, something needs to change. Because there's no way a team as stacked as the Chargers is it should be losing like some of the games they've been losing or playing the way they've been playing. Uh, put that there, and then we're gonna make another chest. And I'm out of rockets. 
that. Oh, we won't need iron anymore. And then, yeah, we'll be like pretty automated. I'm gonna break all this. And then I'll come back and pick up all this stuff. Because right now I'm full. But don't worry, I'll come back and I'll pick it all up. Have any of you guys seen the new Puss in Boots movie? It's extremely good. I really want to go see it. I'm trying to convince my sister, and, but I haven't really got to that part yet of convincing her. I've just thought about that in my head. <laughs> but I want to ask her, be like, yo, let's go see Puss in Boots. Because I think my friends have already seen it. I don't remember, though. Alright, another test for cobblestone. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Grass. so satisfying just breaking all this so fast yeah that beacon was definitely worth building holy crap so much better
I, um, it was before, um, Deep Sleep was in the game, so, you know, the, the world didn't go so deep, like, went to zero or something, I forget already, but it didn't go, like, negative, like, 100 something, but anyway, I dug a 100 by 100 square all the way down to bedrock, now that was not fun, I did not have fun doing that, and the only reason I did that was because I thought it'd be a good YouTube video for my other channel that I used to upload on a long time ago. And yeah, it was uh, not worth the time I put into that, to be honest. It took me so long. I literally had to. I literally watched The Walking Dead the entire time I dug that hole. I watched all of The Walking Dead because I never seen it before. So I was like, you know what? Let's watch The Walking Dead. And I watched all, like, I think like 10 seasons or 9 seasons while I was digging that hole. So, yeah, I, it took a really long time. But the gravel, yeah. Call, yeah. And then we will go to bed. Not yet. away and we'll go back upstairs or go to the ground it's looking not good I don't know if that beacon is covering some cobblestone too or not but if it is we'll take it up anyway who cares Shocker. 
else there? Oh wow, there's like no stone under here either. That's good. Very nice. Uh, okay. Put that up there, and I'm gonna throw away this shield maybe, because I don't really use it anymore. We will see though, we will see. like sound effects <clears throat> maybe like the thunder I'm not gonna lie thunder in this game was super loud so <clears throat> I don't know how loud it's gonna be if it goes off right now Thank you. 
like you recently, like sometimes like you'll place a block and it'll do something like that. <coughs>
and that's on me because I gotta keep it up. But yeah, it's just I got a lot of things I've got to take care of. That sometimes it's like, bro. But sometimes I just like to chill, you know, relax. Like I talked about, I was playing God of War Ragnarok on my PS5, and uh, like that's just my time to chill. And I get maybe like an hour a day to do that. I always try to give myself one hour to just chill and relax and play. Just like, just play, you know. Oh, please be enough, please. Oh my god. Barely. We're just please he's over here or something. But yeah. Like, I just want to give myself a little bit of time to just relax and kick back. Because my schedule is crazy. So, like, not crazy. For me, it's like not crazy to be honest I mean for a lot of people but like I'll wake up I'll get on here I'll record ASMR video that's the first thing I do is record for you guys because I want to make sure I daily upload for you guys after that I will take my dog out for 30 minutes at least because she's a pit bull and pit bulls need to at least go out 30 minutes twice a day oh excuse me sorry but uh, I've been I've been trying to do like night walks and morning walks but Man, after work, it's tough, and I just want my sister to help out, because it's technically her dog. But anyway, yeah, I take her out in the morning for 30 minutes at least, um, you know, get her business done. After that, I cook my breakfast, I, um, on my days off, I'll a meal prep for the week, I'll do laundry, clean the house, um, wash, you know, every day I wash the dishes, all that. Uh, clean, I'll clean the shower because I have long hair and uh, you know people that have long hair their, sh their hair like they have a lot of hair that falls out <laughs> so when you're in the shower and after you're done and stuff there's always like hairs like just in the tub and it's kind of gross so I have to make sure to clean that up um, sorry if you're my dog girl and then um, after that I, I like to take one hour naps before I go to work at least one hour because I sleep like six to seven hours every night and I want to get at least eight hours of sleep a day and uh, taking a one hour nap like 30 minutes to an hour nap right before work is always the best it's like it's perfect because I sleep seven six hours then I take another hour nap so it's like seven eight hours of sleep a day which is perfect for me and then um after that I go to work and I work for like anywhere. Sometimes it's a short day, sometimes it's six hours, sometimes it's ten hours. But um, I haven't done a ten, ten hour shift in a, in, a, in a while, and I don't think I will anymore because I just work nights. But back when I worked mornings, sometimes like it would be eleven to eight hour to eight o'clock. But if you're a server, you know you have to do like side work and stuff. So I wouldn't leave till like nine o'clock. So I'd work ten hours, and I hated that shift. But um. Yeah, usually it's six hours to seven hours, which isn't like crazy hours, you know, because people that work freaking 12 to 16 hours a day, which respect to you guys, because that's, I could never do that, never in my life. Um, but I know some people don't have a choice, you know, they got kids and stuff, which is why I'm in a blessed situation. And, um, you know, hopefully this ASMR stuff goes, um, you know, goes pretty big, because I enjoy ASMR. I've been like listening to ASMR since 2013 is when I found out about ASMR so it's been almost 10 years because it was like late 2013 and uh, I've always loved ASMR but um, I never really made any YouTube videos for ASMR never, I always wanted to but I never did um, so yeah I think it'd be cool to like make this a job like imagine you know, help out my, my family and everything. Especially my mom. My mom really needs help. And I'm trying to help, but it's really hard. But that's a story for another day. Um, but yeah, so I go to work. And then after work, I've been, um, I've been trying to do 100 burpees a day. So right after work, I'll come home. I'll do my burpees. And then I shower. And then after that shower, I, whatever time I have left in the day, I will play on my PS5. So I always, right at 12 o'clock midnight, I stop everything I'm doing and I get ready for bed. 
that's how my, sh my days have been going. So, say I get up and work at like 9 o'clock. I get home, I do my burpees, I shower. By 10 o'clock or something, I'll probably be like chilling. So that's about two hours to just chill on my game. Now, I'm not always up at 9 o'clock, to be honest. I'm rarely up at 9 o'clock. Because usually, um, the place I work at, we close at 9 o'clock most days. And we close on at 10 o'clock on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, on So, like, the days when we close at 9 o'clock, you know, we close. And then I just have to do side work. So, I'm mostly up at 10 o'clock. And in the days we're off at 10 o'clock, I'm off at, like, 11 o'clock. But there are rare occurrences where, like, it's slow. So I do all my side work, like, an hour before we close. Because there's literally no tables. And then right when it reaches, you know, time to close, I can go home. Because I've done everything I had to do. And I have no tables I'm um, waiting on. So when those days happen, that's when I can go home, like, on time. But majority of the time, I'm either home at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. So I either get one hour to chill or I try to make an extra hour, but it's hard. Like when I'm off at, at 11 o'clock, that's, it's really hard because I'll get home, I'll do my burpees, I'll shower, and then, um, it'll be already midnight. When that happens, I'll at least get on for like 30 minutes, 30 minutes at least, and, um, yeah, because I just want to relax at least a little bit in my day. You know, this honestly recording ASMR videos is pretty relaxing too, but um, sometimes I just want to like, you know, lay back. And uh, yeah, because um, I've been trying to be more strict on my schedule because I'm trying to get back into shape because right now I'm, I'm pretty big. You know, I've gained a lot of weight the past since COVID hit. Like, I think I'm 260 right now. I was 280, like, two months ago. So I've lost 20 pounds. But I was uh, 190 before COVID happened. And then COVID happened, and I stopped working for a year. And uh, I gained a lot of weight. <laughs> I gained, like, yeah, like, uh, 70 pounds. No, not 70. 90 pounds. 90 pounds. And all, like, literally a year. Which was really bad, because I was just ordering food all the time, like Uber Eats and stuff, and just sitting at the house, just doing nothing, so I gained a lot of weight, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get back on the schedule, um, and get back into uh, my weight thing, but that's why I gotta start meal prepping again, but I need to find better things to meal prep, because I'm tired of what I'm eating, man, I gotta eat something that tastes good, and so I'm gonna make sure to look up YouTube videos and stuff, 